Two state senators are taking action tonight after a King 5 investigation showed how a sexual predator working inside a jail got a light sentence for his crimes against inmates. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joyce Taylor. And I'm Madison Wade. As King 5's Taylor Murfandereski reports, one lawmaker has drafted legislation to file harsher penalties against correctional officers who abuse their power. It does seem uh, kind of light and especially uh, with a number of offenses. To State Senator Mike Patton, the length of one former jail guard's prison sentence came as a shock. The inmates are especially vulnerable. John Gray, a former Forks jail guard, pleaded guilty to sexually assaulting four women who were inmates at the jail in 2019. Well, he was supposed to be protecting them. All right, so we're here for sentencing. The Clallam County Court judge sentenced Gray last year to 20 months behind bars. But with good time, he got out in 13. The question remains, is that appropriate sentence for that sort of crime? Patton is the Republican leader of the Senate Law and Justice Committee. He says he's now working to change state law to create tougher penalties for the crime Gray was convicted of, custodial sexual misconduct. It's a result of our multi-part investigation, which revealed how a decades-old decision by the Washington State Legislature is the reason Gray is now walking free. I appreciate you uh, bringing that to the attention. In the 90s, Washington lawmakers assigned significantly lighter penalties for sexual misconduct cases involving corrections officers compared with the most serious rape cases involving civilians. For first-time offenders, for example, one count of second-degree rape could result in six and a half to eight and a half years behind bars, compared with a six to 12 month sentence for one felony count of custodial sexual misconduct. I don't think uh, because of the status of the victim, uh, the sentence should be lighter. Patton has drafted a bill to make custodial sexual misconduct a more serious crime, from a class C to a class B felony, which would carry more prison time. We should absolutely revisit custodial sexual assault. Senator Monka Dingra has also vowed to take action. She's a Democrat running for re-election and the chair of the Senate Law and Justice Committee. When someone is in a position of power, they need to be held to a higher standard. She says she plans to consider changes with her colleagues later this year. Any time when we give someone that much power, it has to come with much greater accountability. Taylor Muir, Fundarescu, King 5 News.